Hello, my name is Mark Boyle and I was the winner of the 16th uh, Sir Peter Parker Award speech contest back in 2005. At the time I was working in the Japanese media in London as a lowly assistant reporter for the two-man London bureau of the Hokkaido Shinbu. Now it may sound strange that a regional paper would have a, a dedicated London bureau, but the daily circulation of the Hokkaido Shinbu was upwards of a million at the time. In my speech, I looked at the way the Japanese media reported on news in the UK in what had been an eventful year, with a general election and a major terrorist attack in London. I travelled extensively around the UK to report this news to Japan, and this subject matter seemed to chime with the audience and judges, and I was fortunate enough to win against some very stiff competition. Now, speaking Japanese obviously isn't a competitive sport, but I found the experience of taking part in the speech contest to be a very rewarding one. It pushed me outside my comfort zone and made me think about how to keep an audience interested when speaking in a second language, which is something I'd never done before. It also made me take a more focused look at what I'd been doing at the Hokkaido Shinbun and made me realize how much I had learned in this role. In terms of advice for anyone uh, considering entering the contest, I would first encourage you to go for it. Even making the leap of applying will make you sharpen up your Japanese and presentation skills, and it's an entirely positive experience. I would also say the most important thing is to have something interesting to say and to say it in a way that brings the audience along with you. It certainly isn't a question of linguistic pyrotechnics or having mastered obscure idioms. It's about communication and clarity. And doing this in a second language is a really worthwhile challenge. Ten years later, I still work with Japanese, although in a very different field. I work in the video games industry as a translator, writer and editor in a small company together with a few friends and close colleagues. Learning Japanese has certainly had an enormous effect on my career so far, and it continues to open doors and lead to fascinating opportunities. Having just got back from a month in Osaka, I would say my experience of the language is that it is still as interesting as it was when I first began learning it 15 years ago. I would encourage any learner of the language to stick with it, and most importantly, to enjoy it. Thank you very much.